Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for today's video. Today's video is about smear campaigns. I've done many videos about smear campaigns and you guys can go watch them if you want and I get really into the psychology of them and stuff like this and what kind of people do them and why they're doing what they're exactly thinking and ways to protect yourself. Today I want to just touch, just touch on the main points of a smear campaign. I still get a lot of people asking me questions about smearing people and, hey, is this smearing if I talk about my experiences, if I post something about my ex or something? Is this a smear campaign, David? What exactly is a smear campaign? When am I smearing someone? Things like this. Also, as many of you know, unfortunately, I have to talk about a one of the biggest public smear campaigns on YouTube, even though there's not a lot of people involved. It's disgusting and it, I'm experiencing this right now. So I'm talking about this video because the person smearing me does a, a, a very narcissistic smear campaign tactic that they all do. And they try to convince other people that the victim is doing it to them. So the person doing this to me for five years is trying to get people to convince them that I'm doing it to her. Yeah. So very, very common. So I want to just get dive into the major talking points about smear campaigns to keep it just real simple. Okay. So what I did is I went and looked at a bunch of sites, um, linkedin.com, quora.com, you, me, mindbody.com, psychologytoday.com, freedom from narcissistic and emotional abuse.weekly, flyingmonkeysdenied.com, forbes.com, medium.com, campaigninginfo.com, narcissistexposed.com. And out of all these, I just highlighted the biggest talking points that they all agree on. So what I'm about to go over is not my opinion whatsoever. I'm not going to voice my opinion at all on this and what I think, but it's going to be all from all these sources that I found online. And, and I just, it, I didn't look hard. I mean, I just took, you know, the first, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just went for the first 10 sites that popped up. So the most, 10 most popular sites that address smear campaigns. And I'll put all the links down below in the description box if you guys want to follow them. Definition from Oxford language, smear campaign, plan to discredit a person by making false or dubious accusations. So there's just a few points I want to talk about. That's it. This might be a short video. People that smear campaign, and I'm not talking somebody who's upset about their boyfriend and posts something bad about him one time that that's smear campaigning, but it's, almost exclusive to cluster B personality disorder people. People that are sociopaths, psychopaths, narcissists, histrionic, and borderline. Those are the people, not even the other 10, the other six disorders. Those four in the cluster B, exclusive to smear campaigns. Why? They're very high conflict people. They're very exploitative, could have massive rage, can't take rejection. They have total disregard to human right, rights, laws, rules. They're emotional and impulsive, dramatic and obsessive, lonely. These people are lonely because they can't start, maintain, form relationships of any kind. And people that are smearing you are obsessed with you. It's because they don't have a life. They don't have anybody in their life. So goals and tax tactics. Four. One. They discredit and isolate the victim. They'll do this with a good shock value, right? You are a sexual predator. You are a criminal. You're a horrible drug addict, alcoholic. You abuse and hurt people. We tend to believe what we first see and hear about somebody and we don't like bad people and especially people mistreating others. So it's a great shock value. Boom. They come right out and say this, and they're trying to make you discredit, discredit, discredit. And they want people to all around you to not like you. Okay. Number two, they play the victim and hero alternating between playing the victim and hero. So look at what this person did to me. This person did all these bad things to me. And if that's not enough, they make up victims. Well, he did this to this person and abused this person. Exact thing that 
the person stalking me is doing for five years with so many videos. Making up fake people, false people, false emails, false uh, Facebook uh, channels and stuff like this. And then they play the hero. I, they act as if they're just concerned about you or they're trying to save or help everyone around you, right? So the, you know, you're really upset. How many people do you think have done this? Lots. We'll go contact your family after you break up with them or you don't want to talk to them. They'll contact your family and act like they're concerned about you. And they'll tell your family all kinds of bad things to get your family to isolate, to be mad at you, not talk to you. Okay. Because the next step would be they want this back and forth. So you're not supposed to defend yourself with this kind of stuff because that's what they want. So they try to even the playing field, even though they're doing all and saying all this horrendous stuff about you, they even the playing field by getting you to try to do it back. So now it's a back and forth, he, she said type stuff. And they come out with massive false accusations. And the victims, we don't do that, right? We don't do that. So we're sitting here trying to defend ourselves defend ourselves, and it just makes it look worse and worse and it looks like a fight between the two of you but one it's so lopsided because one person is accusing you of just the most horrible nastiest things in the world you're just a bad 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 person number three they absorb your traits and project theirs onto you so there's a reason that they like you there's a reason they're obsessed on you there's a reason they're smearing you and it's typically not because they think you're a bad person. It's because they like you. Because they may have been attracted to you. Because they want to ride your status coattails. They may want your money. Things like this. They, love, they loved your traits that they criticized. And then they try to say that I'm that person. I'm the person that, that he projects to be. That he looks like. That you guys all like him. No, it's me. I'm, I'm like this. I'm just caring and concerned and I'm a hero and helping you and watching out for everybody and I'm so strong. And then they project what they're doing onto you. So if, like the person doing it to me, making countless videos is saying that I'm making countless videos about her. And obviously it's, all you have to do is go look and I don't. This is the worst thing I've ever said right here. <laughs> and they switch it, right? Projection. I'm going to project what I can't accept about myself onto you. And so the smear campaign is not only you're doing this to me, but you're a disgusting, nasty person that doesn't really care about people, that abuses people. If I'm a drug addict or an alcoholic narcissist, and I'm going to accuse you of being a bad drug addict, narco alcoholic, you're just, your addictions are so out of control. See that? And then the fourth is destroy the victim. And so they'll try to destroy you financially. They'll try to ruin all your relationships. And if they can, they'll get somebody to hurt you or they get you to commit suicide. This is not dramatic exaggeration or anything. This is serious. Over 4,000 young Americans commit suicide every year because of this, because of someone bullying them, stalking them and smearing them and saying bad things about them. Okay. Live narcissist free. Live Narcissist Free, I have the link down below. Call something ego system, okay? Because all narcissists that smear, all of them, they need people, you. They need that, what they call flying monkeys. And it's an ego system. I like that term. Based on their ego, how I look and what I say and my, my status and things like this, I try to get people to do my dirty work. See, they can't, a smear campaign means they can't control you anymore. They can't abuse you anymore. You're not in their life and it's full rejection. Okay. Like the person stalking me, made passes at me, tried to get me in their life and I, I wouldn't. And so this was six years ago and here we are five years later with massive, massive videos saying I'm a bad person. You know, even the thumbnail having my face distorted and ugly and gray and more bags around my eyes, that's smearing, period. That's smearing someone. So when you're trying to say that people are smearing you, but even in the thumbnail, you're smearing them and in the title, it doesn't make sense. So don't forget, all narcissists need people, okay? I've started a petition I'd really appreciate that all of you watching will support.
Stop Narcissistic Online Bullying. It's at change.org forward slash stop bullies. Link will be right down below. And anybody who's suffering from this, anybody who needs to recover from this, anybody who wants advice and support, you can reach me at daviddemars.com. I'm currently taking new clients. I help a lot of people with this and it's sad. It's sad that this is a major portion of the of what my clients are suffering from. Just people attacking them online. This will get better. We'll sign petitions, right? We'll hold platforms accountable. We'll start criminally charging people and getting people to stop whatever it takes. Because all of us, I hope, care about society. We don't want this in our environment, okay? So anybody that experiences this, let us know what you think if you can, if you feel like sharing, I'd appreciate that. Anybody who thinks this video is beneficial, I'd appreciate if you subscribe, vote, share, things like that. Comment down below, ask me any questions you have and I'll always answer them. And uh, love yourself first. Thanks guys, bye-bye.